Alright, welcome back to my channel guys and today we're going to be talking about the new event Summer Breeze. So Summer Breeze is one of my most anticipated events because I actually like both of the suits. Both of the suits have their own good points and their own unique style and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my honest opinions and then we're going to look at the gameplay plus a suit breakdown. So the first suit over here, um, she is the bike girl and she will cost 1,416 diamonds with free tries. Unfortunately this is a tiered event meaning that if you want to get the second suit you have to get this suit first so this suit I actually really like there's a lot of floral and lace patterns and her nail polish is also top tier and she also has toe polish as well this suit actually kind of reminds me of boutique bike but like on steroids so this is like the super super evolved version of this outfit I like the dynamic of this outfit because of the way how her dress lifts up with the wind and how her hair also looks kind of windswept. It looks very cute and flowy and also the color scheme of this outfit is very refreshing especially for a summer event. So I really like it and I like the hat actually because the hat even though it looks big it also has like this illusion where it doesn't look that big because halfway through the hat material I guess it turns from like straw hat material to I don't know what you would call this but it's like this transparent material and overall like I I really like this theme that's going on like you can see it's the same thing with the dress the dress has like a solid layer underneath but then it is covered with a lacy type of translucent material that makes the dress look really airy flowy and light so as for the other suit I really like this as well we really don't have a lot of like lilac or light purple lavender suits and I think that her makeup is gorgeous like she has purple eyeshadow that kind of lightly touches the center of her eye and then her eye color is adorable I don't want to misspeak here but at the same time like if you look at at her shoes and if you look at her outfit I don't know why it kind of reminds me of like a very very modernized type of kimono um, I don't know if it's a Japanese outfit at all but it just looks like it like I know there's a lot of Asian traditional clothes that may look like this but yeah if you know what type of clothing this is let me know in the comments below and this is also a toe polish and nail polish queen right here it's like this beautiful light blue color that is really a good accent for this piece because this suit it's, it's not only purple there is purple to like this light green light bluish and there's also hints of orange as well from the cats and it can darken up to the same color scheme I guess to her hair which is dark brown and her cats also have dark brown with them as well not to mention the biggest part of this outfit the background item it's actually freaking amazing the fact that there is a frame so there is like the window piece and the sitting piece I love how both of these suits are sitting pieces as well like these suits are actually 10 out of 10 I would get both of them I'll show you the breakdown of the suits later and as for the recharge I thought that it was 260 VIP like I thought it was just a monthly card but of course it's a thousand VIP for this recharge I don't know why like the crown looks like something you make in preschool the dress over here it kind of looks like the tiger suit from four gods like the recolored one the makeup is actually really neat because instead of like a very slanted and like thin eye shape this time it's a more rounded eye shape and i kind of like it it's like very innocent looking but girl come on a thousand vip you must be fried like what <laughs> Um, I guess the only thing that might be useful in this is maybe the background because it is like a rectangle. So I can see Starry Corridor stylists using this, but I myself am not one, so I don't see myself using this at all. And again, I think this dress is the whole pose because it can't possibly be an arm pose given that the arm is kind of hiding within the outfit. So unless it's a coat pose, then I guess this outfit would be a little bit more worth it. But all in all, this is one of the most unworth it suits I've seen so far. So this is the events page once this comes to our game. I I really love it because look like the background is so pretty it's like this bluish purple sky with this green grass in the background and then there's like little fairy lights surrounding this event page like I never really talk much about event pages but this is top tier and for this one it's just like a 2v2 you choose your partner and after you choose your partner you're going to dress up I literally just started this account so I have no items or no clothing so you can see that I lose but if you lose you get three of the currency and if you win you get five of the currency to get both suits for 1416 for the first one and 3120 for both you have to make sure that you win all your battles with free tries and honestly you just put on the tags that you see in the tips and you should be fine like you should really be fine it's just that for this one I have five pieces of items so of course I would lose and if you guys are curious it's 24 diamonds for one try if you want to buy it and 240 diamonds for 10 tries if you want to buy more and if you check out more on the event page you'll see that this is a tiered event so it goes from the bike girl first you get parts of her items as you get 
more currency. And then if you want to get the second suit, you have to wait to get it after you get the first suit. And of course the background item is the last part of the outfit. So yeah, you have to finish the outfit if you want the background only. Um, all in all, I do think that it's worth it for what it's worth. Like the outfits are very like not extravagant They're very beautiful and I feel like you can stack it on um, to like a daily avatar wear And if we move on to the achievements, these are the suits So this is the breakdown of the outfit. You can see that the entire dress pose is the pose Unfortunately, but I don't see how it could have been separate since it's like such a unique pose as for the background Like I cannot stop looking at it. It's so beautiful like Oh my god, I cannot wait to get this outfit and I'm gonna use it so much because I can already tell that I love the makeup I love her background. I really love the color scheme and it just gives me good vibes, you know And the cat eating the watermelon. Hello. It's so cute But at the same time, I'm not really a fan of animals in love Nikki anyway So probably I'm gonna toss her. So anyways, if you look at the imposed version There are 16 items to this outfit and the dress look it looks like a kimono in my opinion But again, I could be totally wrong because I'm not very familiar with cultural dresses is, I guess and these are the other accessories that are associated with this outfit I was also confused as to where this cat went but it was her waist item and I realized it wasn't a real cat it was just like a stuffed cat so there's that and if we move on to the bike girl over here I kind of really like her long brown hair because it's this light brown and it's really long I feel like we haven't had super long straight hair in a while now maybe I just haven't been paying attention but yeah but yeah as for the top and bottom I really like how it's not a dress I really like how it's just a skirt item and a top item and and then there's like a coat piece if you really need it and then the shoes are also really nice because for the heels as you could see earlier it was like transparent and I feel like it's super cool as for the bike um, I don't see myself using the bike too often unless it's one of the competitions where it's like bike associated or vehicle associated like I don't know riding in the wind or like bike adventures or something like that I would only use it for that or maybe like flower bike you know sometimes those competitions are oddly specific to the event so I can see them pulling something like that and actually I don't really like this makeup because I feel like it's kind of squished it looks a little weird in the unposed version but in the posed version she looks a little bit more natural here I'm just flipping back and forth because I think that it's a different makeup but it's like the same so yeah I was I was just looking at it for a really long time and I'm like what but yeah, her whole pose is so fun, so cute, so unique, and I give it a 10 out of 10. So what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Like, do you like the first suit more? Do you like the second suit more? I personally like both of the suits, but if I had to choose, I would choose purple suits just because of everything else that she comes with. And yeah, if you like this type of content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!